The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Low, Patton, now Harris off the block into the ground. Deflected off of the hands of Gill. And just deflected over toward the sidelines of Natalie Harris. That's her second kill of the match. Eagles have yet to make an attack error in this one. Abby Cash to serve. She had a double-double a season ago in this gym. Patton. For Harris, into the block, tipped into the air. Able to keep it alive was Oates. Now Cash, over for Morris. Patton will go outside for Molly Locke. She puts it away. Locke with her fifth kill of the match. And the Eagles take the opening set by 10. Early serves this ball just off the top of the tape. Hustling back there is Mentz to keep it alive. That's got a shot to go through the hoop, and it does. And the fans with a very nice applause. Mentz just popped it into the air as we take a look at this replay. Ball just goes straight up and straight through the net. That point goes to LMU. Pat for Borch in the middle. And Maddie Borch with her third kill of the match. And the Eagles on top by a point in the second. Sam Cash will go outside for Brock. That one's blocked by Foster. And Borch right back into the face of the red shirt junior. Four unanswered for the Eagles and timeout, Lincoln Memorial. High point, Carson Newman lead. Patton will go for Fairley, rotating behind Harris, and she puts it away. Sarah Fairley pulverizes it. Now she has a match high five kills to lead the way for the Eagles. Sends it for Fairley. Fairley Patton for Locke, throwing it in the back corner, and Carson Newman gets the point as Molly Locke finds the surface for the seventh time in the match. And Mentz to serve. Mentz for Locke. Now Patton an opportunity for the senior Locke, and she puts it in play in the back corner. That stops a 5-0 LMU spurt. And a senior from College Grove gets her ninth Kill of the match, just over the head of Whitaker, who is bailing. Zybert serves. Whitaker, Cash will go backside for Fleeman. Locks there. Patton will go over on two. Cash is there. Whitaker, now Cash will just set it right toward Lock. Patton will go outside for Fairley. Punched at it with her right hand. Then Cash will go for Brock. Brock off the tip. Zybert's there. Patton will bump set it for Lock out of the back row. Holland, an overpass here. Borch cannot put it away. Ball's bumped over for Zyber. Now Patton for Borch, and she absolutely hammers it to the surface. What a swing by the junior. And the Eagles down by just three, and a timeout, Jenny Michael. You see Borch just getting up and just absolutely hammering it. The hardest swing we've seen in this contest, the Borch kill. It's locked. Patton will go back side for Borch, who just rolls it over. Whitaker for Holland. Holland gets a swing on it. Patton will bump it. Low. Outside for Fairley. Fairley off of the block and then off of the hand of Whitaker and then bumped into the air by Jenny Michael. She doesn't count, however, and the Eagles get the kill. It's Sarah Fairley 16th. Fairley serves. Snyder a poor pass. Holland in the right place, though, in front of the sideline. Patton will go for Harris, and she crushes it. Natalie Harris with 11 kills in the match, forces a timeout from Jenny Michael. It's an 8-1 Carson Newman spurt. As you see, Patton elect to go to Harris, and she just crushed it through the teeth of the LMU defense. And the Eagles lead it 12-8. Fans rise in unison across Holt Fieldhouse. Baseball team making some noise in the top right hand corner as low, hesitant to play it, and then had to get it to lock. Barely a swing. Outside set for Brock. It's blocked by Patton, and then Locke swings and gets the kill. Molly Locke ran in to Natalie Harris, but Locke gets into double figures and kills with her 10th, and the Eagles take the fifth set 15 9.